What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Tiny Rogues Between Heaven and Hell update 0.2.1 right now. Uh, I've been playing a little bit off camera, so I feel like I know what I'm doing a little bit more. Chow, what do you like to start with? Periodically deals sound damage to a random enemy radio? I've never seen that one before. Storm in a bottle is pretty cool. Dice case. Start with an assortment of eight dice. That one's pretty good. Accessory that makes all weapons drain mana. Mana catalyst could be really, really good. Jamming. Peabody's. Bye-bye. Anyone going to bed? Good night. I like starting with six bombs, too. I think that's totally solid. Yarr, I changed profession. I no longer be a pirate. I'm now a rogue. Beware my cunning and slow. Cunning and sloth. My sloth. 35 gold is actually not bad. Eight dice is awesome. Oh, we'll do the dice case. Let's try that. Who should, we, who should we be? Mystic? You gain double the stats from charms and weapon enchantments. Who were we last time? Do you guys remember? Be chaos. You got everything unlocked. I don't know. I just started this game. Play Mystic. What did we play last time? I'm trying to remember. Anyways, Mystic sounds like it could be cool. I don't know if I played this before. I mean, obviously I have two wins, so I must have. You were the one guy that did that one thing? Ah. Right. Ah, uh, here's my complaint right now. To start off with, let's just say, oh darn it. Oh darn it, turns out my spelling is not any better now that I am rogue. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. We do have, we have four dex and two intelligence, so it's kind of a dex intelligence build. Didn't we do that last time, fish and chips or something? Or is that strength? I don't remember. Anyways, uh, I think that the skill tree is a great idea. I think the skill tree as it stands right now is way too complex. And the fact that you only get 30 options in the skill tree means that per character you need to go in and per run you need to start like reading up on about 400 things to figure out what the heck that you want to do with your life uh that's a lot that's just almost too much to ask to go through so i just don't deal with the skill tree like it's a great idea it's super cool but here i am avoiding it um i i don't want to avoid it there's probably a way to make it so that i don't have to feel that way I honestly think that it could have been maybe a, a, a more scaled down skill tree that could be per character. I didn't even know there's a weekly limit. Weekly limit of what? That too. I post Ed when he complains. Event. Events are too fun to skip. We see who do we hit? Well, we're kind of dex based, so probably this one, huh? Did something happen? My butt! Maybe I had to hit it three times. I I don't know what happened. Hits with primary attacks grant a stack of rage. I don't know why we're getting strength-based options here. Each point of dex additionally grants lucky hit chance. That sounds really nice. Repeated attacks have doubled their critical hit multipliers. We don't have repeated attacks. As far as I know. Repeated attacks deal 25% less damage. Hunter's patience after standing still. Ugh, no. Ugh, I like the earned luck. We're gonna go dex. Let's do it. You can get certain things that build off of uh, luck, chance, too, and friggin' rip, because I'm not going for bombs. I should have gone for bombs. Doorbell. Oh, that's a pizza. Ah!
eat the... With some Franks? I'm in. Let's get some Tiny Rogues under our belt first, though. I fricked up my mic here. What's going on? What did you do? What happened? Who hurt you? It was me! Key. Yep. This, uh, rapier. It's pretty nice. Let's read up on it. Let's read up on this character at this point in time. Pretty basic. Nothing going on there. Descaling on decks. Mystical wrappings. On combat start, gain a minor infusion effect that cycles through a repeating sequence of granting minor fire, cold, lightning, and poison infusion. That's cool. What are these? Four red dice, two ethereal. We already used one, right? Or no, we didn't. We took lucky shot, uh, lucky uh, whatever it was. Lucky shot chance. Golden dice. Shops, armories, boss rewards, and then there's a subsidian dice. Exchange a trait with a random new one. All right. How are you today? I am good. Who's Frank? I don't know, but I had their sauce. Gloves are offhand. We need both. I'm um looking for offhand. Thanks again, Ranabana, for the pizza. I really appreciate that. Nolzy, at it again. It won't let me gift memberships, so this will have to do. You're blocked from... Is it your bank? No, because you're doing that. What happened? Thank you so much for another... That's a dollar. That, tell me I'm right or wrong. That's Australian dollars. Title Huts. Oh, I should change the YouTube title. At least. Could be an is a number of countries with an A. Let's do here and there. Save that. We put Franks on everything. No problem, huts. Huh? Gotta enjoy dairy vicariously. Yeah, Australian. Okay, I asked that before, but I then was really absorbed into the game. Frost Talisman. During combat, periodically triggers icicles to fall on the nearest enemy, dealing 147 to 207 cold damage every 5 seconds. That sounds really cool. Lantern, another offhand. Grants 20% increased primary attack damage. Very straightforward. Very good. Gloves. Rocket Gauntlets. Rare. On the tally of the 10th primary attack, shoot three seeking missiles at the nearest... Yes. We have benefit, though, from charms. Plus one block per floor. That's a free hit per floor. That's good. Hmm. 40% increase, though. Uh, what's a 40% increase? Yeah, they be coming from down under where all the near dolls live, my people, for sure. Near dolls? They be coming from down under. That's another song. Dude, the gloves, the rockets, and then probably gonna get uh, attack speed <coughs> with Dex. No, said it was a money limit, not members limit. Oh, that, that that makes there's a money limit on YouTube, or is like your personal money limit? Super chat. 100 AUD. Won't let me gift membership, so this will have to do. Tim. Dollars worth. Hmm. That's weird. You said you reached your weekly limit. Well, that's pretty dope that you're so generous they had to cut you off. They're like, please. This is, smells like a lawsuit. Um, I'm gonna try the rocket gauntlets. Strength scaling with the gloves, right? Um, no, there's no scaling on... Oh, oh, here. Adds plus three to unarmed strength scaling and 45 to 105 unarmed damage. I, I don't know if that matters. 
I'm I'm looking at this. I don't know what this is, right? Ten percent increase primary attack. So this is a uh, offhand, and then every five seconds there's the icicles that drop. I, I gotta try it. We're not doing unarmed. Once again, I'm assuming it's that that wasn't trying to say that I only get missiles if I'm using it unarmed, right? No, it just says on the tally of the tenth primary attack. And then we can get a build going that actually works with tallies and says, like, minus one tally required. Missiles. There we go. Okay, I was gonna say, they're seeking, but that didn't seem very good, seeking. It's just conjoined. Yeah, strength. I'm a, I actually need some, like, money keys bombs, maybe? Most of the time, I feel like what I get from this is uh, money and bombs. That's some wine. Which gives me... 20% uh, increased damage over time. Uh, I guess we do have the infusion thing, so sure, just drink it. Bottoms up. Bottoms up, bottoms up, up. Golden Desert Eagle. Dope. On dash, the next attack of this weapon is guaranteed lucky hit. Could do a lucky hit build. Game's telling you to get drunk. Prop knife. Very low damage. Fears on hit. Arc staff. That's just... Chain lightning sounds great, but... But, 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 but I'm not intelligence. I'm gonna go with the, the deagle. Bring it on, haters. Resin! We are Dex. We could go for a resin permanent build. I like the idea of that. Okay, this kind of feels like it sucks. And the, the attack speed's really low. So we're not getting as many missiles. Uh, mm, yeah, might not be doing it. YouTube just to stop me from buying you a new heater. <laughs> Let him suffer. No. It's just Big Furnace bringing me down, man. The Furnace Matrix. Use dashes with the gun. Yeah, I guess with the guaranteed crits, but I, I don't have that many dashes. I think I'd rather bet my money on the, the missiles. And the dash lucky hit. And like you dash to shoot too, and then you figure out that you dash in the bad in a bad spot, you need to dash to get out of it. And you you can't. Because you used it. I I don't like on dash effects, I have to say. They get me in trouble. I get too carried away. What's up with the new update? Lots of stuff. Uh, gloves is a new slot. We have charms here in the bottom. This character specifically has double the stats from charms. <coughs> um, there's a whole new ending to it. There's like the shadow realm. There's basically like an Isaac where you can go up to the cathedral or down to Shoal. You can go up to heaven or down to the hells. Go with that charm, I guess. I'm so cold and lonely. Wah. Wah. Uh, uh. Get down with the sickness. You mother, get up. Come on, get down with the sickness. Don't be afraid. Sadness is a gift that's been given to me. Wah. Banshee Tim. Tim she. Ban Tim. Needs a comfy hoodie. This is new. Boss rewards. Charm. 10% increased attack speed. It's gonna be 20% for us. Fiery Ball Orbital that deals 138 to 207 fire damage and inflicts burn. 
More gloves. Lock picking. Thief gloves. The thief just starts with these gloves and the hood, so you can lock pick stuff. It's a, like a mini game. It's kind of fun. Rare accessory. 100% increased effect from fire ailment status effects. Well, we do have charcoal pine resin. Fire ailment. Increased fire damage taken from hits by 10% per stack. Yeah, I'm just going to go with the charm here, I think. 20% increased attack speed is amazing. With the missiles, exactly. Yes, correct. Uh, we have to figure out how... Where, we, we need to figure out where we want to go. And then, once we figure out where we want to go, we have to figure out how to get enough points to get there. Right? And so, we either want to be... Good. We want to be evil. Or we want to be lawful. I don't think you want to be chaotic, ever, in this update at least. And honestly, the souls could be the right way to go. This little fire can give you, uh, for 30, it'll give you a heart container, a dash, or another mana star, which sounds really cool, but you have to use your souls in order to get the proper things to make it to these next areas and I think you need plus four of one of these air it's it's uh, it's a whole thing it's it's a whole thing so I was complaining before about not being able to get health upgrades that easily while well, the fires were added in but now I can't use the fires to get the health because I need to go to the ending basically like have such a broken run and be so freaking good at the game that you don't need health and you can just make it to the end Magically, I don't know. Your companions grant no stats to you, but you have plus two max companions. After standing still, no. On the tally of the 10th primary attack, gain trigger mania. Damage is... So it says trigger damage is all damage that comes from effects that explicitly use the trigger keyword. Emotion buff that grants 100% increased trigger damage. Um, rockets are trigger. So on the 10th primary attack, which is already firing rockets, it'll do 100% increased damage from those rockets. Right? I kind of like the idea of having plus two companions, but the companions, I'm all about the stats I get from them. And that strips that. So it would just be for the damage of the companions. There's a super broken soul heart generator trinket that uses the fires. I uh, hope I run into that. Well, I'm I'm thinking we'll try doing the trigger build then, I guess. That's a crocodile. Have we seen this floor yet? I just cut the head off that crocodile. That was that was freaking metal. Hmm. <clears throat> Cursed bombs for a new weapon. Definitely not the fire scroll. Happy twin karambits. Karambits? On kill gain swiftness. A buff that grants 20% increased movement speed the last four seconds. Uh, we get double that, so 40% increased movement speed. Cool. Happy! Plus 20% lucky hit chance. Double that because... Unless it's already calculating. It could be already calculating it. Right, because when it says 20% increased movement speed, it's probably already, it was 10 up to 20. This was 10% lucky chance. I don't think that it would give you 20% for happy. That sounds crazy. It, it's got to be already calculated. Let's, let's see. Where does it say? Lucky a chance. Plus 9% lucky a chance from my dex bonus. So what's my... Lucky a chance 9%. Well, it's plus 20 here, so I guess it's not calculated. Whatever. I don't know. Seems like a good weapon for us, though. Nolzy, thank you so much for being super generous today. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a phenomenal night. Let's sell the gun. Is that a golden desert eagle that you're selling me? Bye? Uh, meat shank? Zombie arm! Zombie companion. 
Each zombie grants 10% increased damage dealt to bosses. Power potion or intelligence lollipop. I can't afford that, but I can afford the meat shank. I do kind of have intelligence build thing going on at four, but I got a strength thing going on. It's cool because we have strength scaling on the weapon, so. So all is good. I be back like I promised. Hope he got your non-slip sea legs on casu. This boat be rocking from the amount of fun on stream, obviously. Did I miss a, a minute since I caught us? Been a minute since I caught a stream. Thanks for doing all you do. Hope you're doing well considering one hundred dollars from child. One hundred dollars. Holy moly. Look at this hat. We forgot about this hat. This hat's super cool. Putting this on for you. Cult of the lamb hat. Wowzers and Sage, thanks for the bits. You guys are being so freaking generous today. Thank you for that. Seriously. You didn't have to do that. I very much so appreciate it. God, I just remembered I still gotta call and figure out the furnace thing. You deserve it all. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't have any armor, don't need to go there. Unless I wanted to spend money that I don't have on upgrading my weapon. We'll take the bombs. Not sure if this is better than this. Oh, now that I see the damage of that, yeah, I do think it is better than that. I just had the lucky chance, right? Yeah, the lucky chance I think is going to be worth it all, all just by its own. The music goes hard. The best part. That's why I'm here. Cursed helmet? I, I don't want the curse. Curse is not a thing that makes evil or good chaotic or lawful, I don't think. I think curse is just... It's like negative luck. Where it can reroll things to make them worse for you. Eat your pizza! A scone. Who did that? Caldro, thanks for the five gifted memberships. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Saving it for hibernation. Foolish human. Lost in the swamp. You want me to eat some pizza? Is that why you're here? Let us see it. The pizza? Show the pizza. Look at this delicious looking pizza. Look at how many colors are on that thing. Pizza rogues. Hot smuck bang. I'll take a couple bites, but only because you demanded it. Anybody here not put hot sauce on their pizza? I couldn't imagine. That Thank you again, pizza's Caldero. as colorful as that mermaid I never might. Ranch because I'm a monster. Pizza's so good dipped in ranch. Why not both, though? I don't know if I've ever fought this guy. Arg! Not as foolish as I expected. He's he's the voice. Fire boys. Tell me that wouldn't be a good uh, D and D character, a, a pirate troll. Yeah, Maneater. That's the first time I ever fought him. Hi, what game is this? This is Tiny Rogues. 
This is Tiny Rogues. Highly recommend this game. It just got a huge update. Jousting armor. 200% increased stats granted by booze buff. I don't know if it's better than cycling between fire, cold, lightning, poison. On combat start. More gloves here. We have thunder grip. Grant plus 5 to 200 lightning damage to melee attacks. Uh, two set thunder god zeal. Grants plus 5 to maximum stacks of shock. 30% increased explosion damage. Well, this is two-handed, but it would, it would apply to our rockets. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jumbled Rubik's Cube. Attuning it will solve it. I think it just gives you plus one luck, but it takes 20 rooms to solve it. I uh, can go for Boo's build, though. Maybe. I think booze is a strength-based thing. Caldro with five dollars on top of that. Just graduated with a degree in electrical engineering. Congrats. That was very tough for me. That was so much harder than high school. I can't even... I can't, I can't describe how much harder it was than high school for me. Contributed many a sanity-saving break, so it's about time I give back. Keep creating. Congrats on that. Good luck in the field. Thank you for the five big ones. Booze has been changed. Booze still wears off, though. Right? That's the problem. I need permanent booze with the jousting armor, or I have to keep buying or finding booze. <laughs> Do you think an Isaac cartoon would be a cool idea? Yeah, I think it'd be a great idea. Jumbled Rubik's Cube, maybe. Because I just, I don't have anything in that slot. It's the only thing that's... open, I guess. You can get a permanent boost trait. Yeah, but it's a strength thing, right? And, I mean, we have seven strength, so it's possible that we could see that that upgrade. Evil shop. We, I guess we're going to be evil. I mean, it's the only one they gave me, so... What do we got? 20% increased melee damage. That's great for me. 50 load capacity. Don't really care about that, i got to be honest. 25% increased trigger damage. We have the trigger. Trigger build. Sorry, Rubik's Cube. And I'll take the melee damage, and I will take this just because I want to be evil. We're already plus three evil, chat. Look at us go. What say you? Greetings, young soul. I'm just a humble minion from the burning hells. Care to strike a bargain? Strange items in the inferno. Souls aren't flowing like they used to. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Remember, every soul you spend here fuels directly into the inter infernal depths. A delightful, wicked deed. So we got plus three evil there. And I don't have any money now to buy health, but I think I only need to be four evil. We need to be careful who and what we buy from. Things can be more expensive or less expensive if you're evil or not evil. I want to say Vikings was like one of the only things that likes if you're evil and you can buy booze but we, we didn't take the booze build so Rip. fight mega satan i don't know who's down there i don't know what's what's beyond i've never seen it no more stats from strength dex or intelligence but penalties from exceeding your equipment load capacities are reversed that's really interesting fonzie Nine months, but baby. Haven't been able to come to the streams lately. Keep upping my sub offline and watching YouTube. Love watching. Thanks for catching me live today. Appreciate the resub. On combat start, gain full stacks of Battle Rush. A uh, stackable buff that grants 3% increased damage and movement speed. We have a lot of movement speed stuff, right? So maybe we go for like a movement speed equals fire rate buff. On combat start triggers... Trigger when bosses enter phase two. It says, uh, periodically trigger your on combat start effects every 10 seconds as well. Could be really, really good. Explosion damage from you and your companions inflicts instability and armor break. Instability is a debuff that makes the target take 30% more top end damage, but 30% less low end damage. Armor break, uh, debuff that makes armor take 100% more damage. 
We do have explosions, but I think it's kind of boring. And I haven't really found an exploding weapon that I like. Have you heard about Quasimorph? Seems like a game you would love to play. I don't know that, Quasimorph. Tweet it at me. I'm playing Hall and I don't know what or where to go. Any advice? Go east. Use the D6. Reroll. 100% increased stats from strength, but gain no stats from dex. No. Swords drain mana. That could be good. 5 to 35% increased attack speed depending on the dexterity scaling of your current weapon. I gotta go with alacrity. Fire rate. With our rockets. It's, it's a thing. It's a build. Until we get rid of our gloves. Lol. You've been afflicted with webbed. 50% less movement speed, okay? Find it hard to believe that I've just avoided all webs up to now in this game, but... There's a, there's a secret crawl space. I guess we'll go. It's a black market and I have no money. Great. Perfect. Cool, yeah, let's not buy anything then. Did I take the spoon pendant? And I didn't even equip it. Here, take this Rubik's Cube. It's actually a lot of money. And if I'm happy with the twin karambits, you can take my side sword. Now I have some money. Voodoo doll. Summons a fetish demon companion. Two times per second, dealing blah blah blah, slashing. Each fetish demon grants 5% increased attack speed. Light bulb. Electric eel companion. 25% increased effects of shock. Blood vial, a leech, 10% increased damage to health. I'm gonna go with the fetish. Here, and then activate my demon. Is that a frog? You said it was gonna be a fetish demon, that's... Oh, okay, it's not... It's not, okay, I, yeah, it looks better now. Undash, charm the nearest enemy. Well, we don't have boots. Mana potion on consumption. Dispel a curse. Illegal Knob Twiddler. Flail. 40% increased damage. Armor attack spins two flails that deal blah blah blah. Illegal Grandmaster Shuriken. Increased damage. Primary attack deals 96 to 202 slashing. S tier scaling on decks. Illegal Ice Scimitar. Uh, primary attack deals cold damage on crit with this weapon. Trigger an icy burst. We have a trigger build. We have a trigger build. I might go with the illegal Grandmaster Shuriken, though. The illegal knob twiddler was my nickname when I was a new recruit. Foot, foot fetish demon. Yeah, look at that fire rate. Bruh. Cool. All right. I'm going to be happy with that. We made it work. You know what? I feel so comfortable, I'm gonna sell this to you. 10 G's. Hell yees. You can have four companions. Really? I thought it was only one. Companion capacity 0.25. Wait, why? Like, like the, the foot fetish guy only counts for 0.25? Yeah. Each fetish demon grants five. No, wait, I read that wrong. Companion weight, 0.25. Huh. Cool. I'm gonna find a better weapon here, aren't I? Burning Dragon's Breath. It's not Dex. Hell Singers, plus two. That's Dex. 100% Ruthless. One against Fiends and Undead. 100% more top end damage. And then Dragon Slayer's Partisan. 50% increased damage dealt to dragons. Uh, Talia, the fifth primary attack, does a special secondary attack. Hmm. Attack speed on shurikens? Yeah. If we fight a dragon, I guess I could whip this out, but... We're gonna stick with this. Look at that. 
shredding. Chopping broccoli. I need more keys. That's a triangle. It's a dash, dash, dash. Just sound. Finally, a sounding rod. I mean, triangle. Stick. That's what you call the stick with the triangle, right? No comment from the chat. Smart. One or two random trait tomes. We could get a trait and then replace it. You do you. That's a different kind of fetish. Um, They could be really cool. I don't mind the ones we have, though. Kind of like the ones that we have. I'll go anyways. Once again, you have to replace something that you currently have with one of these traits that drops. It's only one. Teachings and intelligence replaces a trait with wildfire, lightning damage from you, and your companions inflict fragility and burning. Uh, yeah, I'm not lightning, so no. Are you a dragon? Mister, are you dragon? Pizza time. I never have trouble eating pizza, but when you guys are watching, it's like I can't eat. The most amount of struggle I've ever experienced. Stop watching. You're making me be dumb. Looking for a dragon so much, why don't you start dragging your nuts on the deck? It's got pretty good damage. Especially that, that third attack, or the fifth attack, rather. But the missiles are really are bringing us home. The missiles are good. Try dragging your nuts on the deck. Stamina charm grants plus two stamina. That's really good. Plus one stamina ring. Frickin' frickin', frickin lame, dude. Plus one maximum companions. You imagine if I had up to eight of these fetish demons? War boots. Plus 100 equipment load capacity. I don't have any boots. That's pretty freaking lame. Ruthless hit chance would be nice, though. Let's see here. Ruthless, 100% more top end damage. I think I gotta go plus 2 stamina. That's huge. Get rid of load capacity. Goodbye. Because what's our capacity at right now? Mm, where does it say? Does it tell me where my capacity is at? Am I dumb? Is it over here? Equipment load 40 out of 90, so we got plenty to go. More friends! Dragon Slayer missiles. Do, 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 do. Had to do a little salsa there. Probably not gonna get health. But I only have one key. I'm gonna roll it. Bombs. A knight comes up with a sword and armor, and I shoot a freaking rocket at him. Mm. 
You guys remember that movie? Where he goes back in time. And he's got like tech and stuff. I'm gonna go with the dice. Confetti poppers are my favorite enemies. Would you consider them enemies? Because I think they only spawn when there's a champion that spawns them, right? Like, they don't have a health bar themselves, I think. We got more red. We got another gold, and that's nice. Look at that. We got a lot of dice. One, two, trait tomes again. I'm gonna go shop. That's a convoluted movie. I don't remember it. There was a couple of them. There was one like... What was the guy that Sean the Evil Dead? He was like, this is my boomstick! And then there was another one. It was not Eddie Murphy, but who was the other guy that was... popular on the same time? And he also goes back in time. Running shoes on completing a uh, combat encounter room without taking damage gain a stack of momentum. Stackable buff that grants 5% increased movement speed per stack. That's nice. It's only one gold. I don't know why they're so cheap. One gold for two bombs. And honestly, four gold for stamina certain. Go for it. Is everything cheaper because I'm evil? That was Evil Dead 2. Your ADHD is amazing. I'm willing to use some bombs here for some extra cash. Save our money maybe for a, like a blacksmith. I like the idea of stacking up some infusions and trying to get the perma infusion buff. A really good one. Key or gold? Let's go key. That one guy from Evil Dead 1? Yeah, he's in Evil Dead 2. One epic! Give it to me. Why did the charm only give you two stamina and not four? I think it's already calculating it, like I was trying to say before. It's already telling me the plus 100%. Yikes, I didn't expect you to have rocket launcher. Pied Piper taken out with an RPG. A role playing rocket propelled grenade. Rocket playing grenade. Use other voodoo companions. Like if I keep clicking the button. What? I didn't know you could just keep clicking it. What's the drawback? Why well, it should just Do give you, you four. Learn then. From you and shoot rat propelled grenades. Yeah, you can. As long as you give it back. Give it back? When you're done. What was that, Sage? He'll learn from you and shoot rat propelled grenades. Good. Just cap on summons. Yeah, there's no drawback for having four though. Like I said, they they should just give you four immediately. Ah, right. That guy, $10 on YouTube. Super chat. No, this isn't much, but it's a little thanks for all the streams and content. You make all your content comforting on stress-filled days. Thank you so much for giving back that guy. Seriously, 10 is a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hidden blades, gloves, on dash. After a one-second delay, trigger a fan of knives. That's a lot of damage. I don't like the on dash effects, but that's a lot of damage. That sounds pretty cool, but I'm not going to give up my missiles, right? The whole build right now is off missiles. What do we got? Missile vest? Missile vest? 
during combat periodically launch missile that explodes. Missile? How is that not a set? You're out of your dang missile. 10% increased damage for maximum armor. That's super good too if we were, you know, doing that. 25% increased companion damage per aura. I don't even, I don't know what an aura is in this game. I gotta go missile vest here. Goodbye infusion vest. Mystical wrappings. I got a missile vest. I am missile. Bruh. Let's get it. Once again, saving my souls to be evil. I would love to get more health, but... Are we noticing missiles? If I stop shooting? I'm noticing my fetishes going right for their feet. Yeah. That, that was a missile. Technically, it didn't seem that impressive, but... Has a missile silo strapped to his back. Magic weapon? Nah. Are they launching beer at me? Did they just explode into pretzels? What's this? Oops. That's all stats up, I think, right? It said plus one dex only. So maybe it was only one to my highest. Maybe they changed that. Contains rare weapons. I don't know if I want to get rid of my weapon. But it's weapon or weapon. This one's free. Mom's knife. Classic. <coughs> On kill gain hunger. Hunger is a buff that grants plus 300% critical hit multiplier. Hmm. Poisoned repeating crossbow. Uh, poison damage. 100% chance for attacks to repeat. If we had a repeat build, that would be really good. We passed that up already. Burning Halberd. Thrusting armor break on the tally of three primary attacks does a special secondary attack. Hmm. I bet you that the repeating attacks don't count for... Primary attack tallies. Kind of expected an item called Missile Vest to do more. Mom's knife? I don't know, I'm not really excited about any of these. Faster attack, right? Uh, we're doing 615 right now, for base. This one's gonna do 329, to base. So, about half. More missiles plus repeat fire. If the repeating of the firing of the missiles of the thing give me five gifted memberships from Crowd Typical. Typical? Crowd Typical, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. If you got gifted a membership, make sure to thank Crowd Typical. We'll try that. We'll see what happens here with this. Yeah, okay. So the repeating attacks don't count, right? Because the missiles are firing every, what, 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Roughly. Noah, yo, you got one. You got one of those. Let's try the damage and see if it does anything. See if we can... See if it can impress me. That kind of did feel like we was firing missiles faster there, though. That's one key. Or sell stuff. Let's sell stuff. We don't even need the money. What am I saving money for? Got you, fam. Keep up the good work. Awesome work, you said. Time to actually read what they wrote and not fill it in with what I want to hear. What do we got? Booze, booze, bombs. This guy gives you chaos, I think, if you buy that. Um, some of these people charge you more money if you're evil. I don't think you... Do you get evil from buying from certain people? I think you do. I think if you buy illegal gun parts, you get evil. 
Go to bed. Good night, everyone. Good night, Rana. Thank you so much for the pizza. I'm gonna go to town in that soon. Let's try to get the illegal gun parts guy. I think that's the only one that I know of that makes you evil. Alright, we got four evil. We're already there. I don't need the gun parts. Right, that's not the important part. And I just spent all my money. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to upgrade my weapon, but I will be able to get plus one heart, which is amazing. Give me that. Bombs or money? We have eight bombs, so we're, we're looking good on the bombs. Alright, ranged weapon or an accessory. Our accessory right now is increased trigger damage, which is missile. Although, if you read it... Are you reading it? On the tally of 10 primary attacks, shoot three missiles. There's nothing about triggering. During combat, periodically launch a missile. I don't think that's trigger. I don't think spoon pendant's working. We did buy it for evil though, didn't we? So, once again, maybe not important. Tally, trigger, and periodic are all different things. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe accessory then. Trigger is not a tally. I am sentinel of wisdom and knowledge. You are not worthy of the library's secrets. Well, I'm just passing through. You think I want your stupid books, nerd? I can't read anyways. Joke's on you. I've tolerated your disrespect long enough. This sacred place will be your gr Going to a library and firing off rocket launchers? Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. For a nerd. The Guardian from Avatar. Library Owl from Avatar. I remember that. Horseshoe Pendant. 15% lucky hit chance. That's... Lucky increases lucky hit chance. Lucky hits roll two times for critical hits and define a chance to trigger certain effects on hit. Of course, we're going to get rid of the trigger thing, you know, to, to put it on. But your percent modifiers to movement speed also apply to damage dealt for your companions. We do have a lot of movement speed stuff on our shoes that we will replace, then never mind. Your thrusting damage inflicts bleed, ladies. Uh, tally of two primary attacks, shoot two dart projectiles to the nearest enemy dealing poison. Uncommon gloves. Now, I'm gonna stick with the rockets. We're gonna get some sort of explosion build. Because I, I made fun of it, and now they're gonna force it on me. What was that? Crowd typical. Got the membership yourself. Awesome. Thank you for that. Good stuff. I'm gonna go with the pendant. I'm gonna drop something. And then take the pendant. And then get, ditch the spoon. I mean, I, I think I only need to be four evil. But we can go five. Hold shift to compare, right. Gale wind ring. 10% increased movement speed. Uh, Ruby Ring. 35 to 70 fire damage. Devil Boots. Minus 25% chance for a curse to take effect depending on how evil your alignment is. Okay, so a little bit of combination there between getting curse and being evil. So, I have minus 100% chance for curse to negatively affect me. All right, all right. I kind of like my running shoes, but these are kind of cool. I'm going to get rid of my triangle. And I'll, I'll hold on to them for now. Food? 
Pizza time? What are you waiting for? You shut up, fire. You don't know the joys of eating pizza. Is Curse just taking more damage? Definitely no. Range attacks gain 100% crushing hit chance at close range. Maybe? I kind of like that because we're getting up close to hit him with all three shots. Or fatigue. Reduces movement speed at 25%, increases damage taken from crit hits. I only have 8% crit chance. Let's go point blank, I guess. Um, curse. Let's see if I can just read it. No? You're not going to pop up? Alright. Something about... It's opposite luck. So sometimes, like, if you're going to get two bombs, it might, like, go... It does a little curse symbol and you get one bomb instead. Um, and like lucky hit chance, there's a curse hit chance, which I think probably just means that you do like the minimum amount of damage or something. So it's it's bad. It's very negative. But you would take curse because you would gain something else from it, right? So I can gain those things without the negative effects of the curse. And there actually are some items that say the more curse you have, the higher chance of blah 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 and actually that's we already have that I'm just gonna pop one and take it then curse means you have less crit chance okay sure what well, they said set item uh, yeah let's see minecraft blazes Curse is basically screw you effect. Yeah, summed up. Gift boxes contain additional booze consumable. Santa coat. Santa, you drunk. Oh, look at that cursed booze bottle. But I think for this one, we automatic. Oh, frick, dude, there's so much going on I can't see. That was, that was so much going on. Uh, we automatically got the curse there. So a curse hit chant 10%. Uh, but it should be down to zero if I put the boots on. Grab a beer. I guess we'll get rid of the gun parts. Although if I end up with a gun, I'm going to be sad. Guess I'll just drink the booze now. Booze, what does it do? 10% increased damage per booze um, and then it goes away after a while. It's here. Tipsiness. One tipsiness per booze up to three defined by the amount of heart containers. Every ten rooms you lose a booze. Is it going to read that one or no? I think you broke the pirate. Santa's been sneaking booze into children's presents. Sit, stay, have a drink. Tavern. No, I, I'm drunk enough. Thanks. I think you used up all of the uh, TTS monster. There's none left. Now I gotta pay for it. Maybe, or maybe it's just broken. I don't know. What's this? Slime orb. Nope. Nope. What you? Examine the burnt tree. Yeah. Fresh charcoal pine resin. Fresh charcoal is different in that it lasts 20 rooms. Cool. Let's pick it up and use it and store the other one for a rainy day. 
Two out of three. Or offhand. Offhand at this point, I guess. I didn't know it was finite, I'm sorry. I mean, I can check just to make sure, but... Let's see what it says. Monthly text-to-speech messages remaining 268. It should be good. And maybe just choked. How would you give another 100 bits to test? I'm kidding. You don't have to do that. Mountain's rage is my rage. There is no forgiving those who befoul the mountain. I tend to do pretty well with these battles. Like remembering where the red circles were. Annoying little brat, everything will burn. Hits him with a nuke while he's trying to say that. Have you seen those videos of people uh, messing up like Red Dead Redemption 2 cutscenes? Starfield cutscenes? That's hilarious. Pyra got a little tired. What do we got? Falcon shield. Falcon bunch. 10% increased movement speed per maximum armor you have. Plus one block, plus one armor. That's pretty good. I mean, I don't have a lot of armor, but... If I did, undash, trigger a lightning strike uh, near a random enemy. That's also really good. Kind of stuck with the devil boots for curse reasons now, right? Plus one Sometime evade. Sometime I have a bit of a rivalry going on. He even censored me there. The cheeky, I'll put a jellyfish in his next stocking for that one. Bugger is apparently a swear word, y'all. Jellyfish in his next stocking. Evade's a free hit. We're full on charms though. I'm gonna take the uh, Falcon Shield. Plus one hit per floor. Free hit. That's nice. Annoying little brat effing dies. Mm -hmm. Gotta go Dex. I gotta... Gotta try to max out my, my traits. Traits are so good. It might be time for us to think about getting a better weapon. Let's be honest. It's pretty late. Late is the hour. Equipment. For free, because it's got teeth. The mimic. Santa hat! Oh, we, we have... We got both of them. On defeating a boss, you're granted a gift box. Gift boxes contain additional heart pickups that recover a heart. Oh, recovering a heart is not a big deal for me, though. Giving me maximum hearts would be amazing. So while I think you're cool, you kind of also suck. Elusive boots, plus one evade. No. Not even. I'm leaving both Santa things here. You should be able to summon Santa. Missiles or Santa? I'm gonna get rid of my shoes. Put some new shoes on and suddenly everything is so exciting. There's so much freaking money now. I don't even need the poison repeating crossbow, let's be honest. Illegal gun parts, I'll keep you though. Just in case. Hmm. What do we got keys if we're not gonna rip them? Two bombs? Hmm, we got, but I don't have a key. Mm 
I have 90 gold. Let's go to the shop. Roller skates. 50% increased orbital speed. Percent modifiers to movement speed also apply to your stamina snow boots. Stamina recovery speed. Burning octo shot crossbow. 3.4 attacks per second. That's free standard. Pretty lame. 50% increased repeat damage. I just got rid of the repeating crossbow. Well, I got so much money. Let's, let's just buy a new weapon just to see what the octo shot does. That's kind of cool. Look at that, though. It's every... Every 10 primary attacks to the seeking missiles. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that the burst of 2 doesn't count as 2, unfortunately. Yeah, it seems okay. I, I really like the spread on it. But this also has good spread, so... Rare or set. We don't really have a set. Nothing nothing goes with the set that we currently own, so I'm gonna go rare. Space Gator is six months. Welcome back. Half a year. Such a late stream. It's 9.30. It's not late. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Yeah, once again, I think we're due for a new weapon. A better weapon. There's one thing I've learned from all of this. It seems like YouTube does not care for Tiny Rogues all that much. Not as much as Twitch does. Hundred and seventy eighty you left. Where'd everyone else go for pizza? Speaking of. How many dice do you have? Lots. I could re-roll this. You're losing some stats from weight. Am I overweight? Am I uncovered? Last I checked, we were pretty good, but... The missile thing probably weighed a lot. My pirating scared them away. They couldn't handle the waves, the lily-livered landlubbers. Whoa. A lot of swear words there. Sailor mouth. 2.5% increased primary attacks per soul you have. That seems real. Plus 50% damage? Yeah. Equipment load. You're right. 110 out of 95. We are over. This is 40 itself right here. And the Falcon Shield's 40. Yeah. <clears throat> I could switch over the Wisp Lantern then, but then I lose my block. Rare Dice Pendant. Once per room, you on using a dice, grants 1 to 10 gold. I really don't need the gold, let's be honest. Kotal Gloves. Who did a thing? Space Gator, 5 gifted Twitch subs, thank you for that. I appreciate it, hell yeah, showing some love to the Twitch side. Oh, non-triggered lucky hits. Trigger an elemental burst. Oh, that sounds kind of nice. We still do have this. We have 18% extra lucky hit chance. But I'd get rid of my missile gloves and... So this would do fire damage, cold damage, or lightning damage. It would kind of be its own missile. 
with fire rate still good? I don't know, chat. Sounds kind of nice. I'd go with the lantern. Why is it up to 77% now? Why did that change? Alright, let's try it. No block, no armor. I'm open. Devil's Cloak. Grants plus five cursed hit chance depending on how evil you are. Curse increases cursed hit chance. Cursed hits have to succeed, have to succeed two rolls to deal critical hit and to find a chance to trigger certain effects on hit. Current cursed hit chance. Okay, so why would I want that? It's a bad thing, but it's saying if I get the set though, your cursed hits deal guaranteed crit hits. Oh, I picked up the souls from walking over. Got it. Your cursed hits are guaranteed crits, so that's that sounds really, really good, but I'd, I'd have to get the set first. And that's all 30 souls that I won't have to spend to get more health. Grants 20% increased damage depending on how evil your alignment is. Accessory. Hmm. 20% increased damage dealt to bosses. Let's see here. Stacking damage on damage. Because I'm super evil, it's plus 100% damage. It's double damage. Sync accessory, but crushes offhand bonus. Right, because I'll get rid of my souls, but I think the double damage is probably going to make up for it, and then we'll get more souls later. And who knows, we might not get the other part of the Devil Cloak. I, I'm willing to try here. We're trading Lucky Hit Chance for double. So potentially less crit hits, but double damage. Because we're super evil. And now we're even more evil, right? 100% currently up to 100%. Makes sense. Alright. And I probably would have used the souls anyways to get more health so I don't die. I've never fought some of these bosses before. I really don't feel like... I'm gonna do very well on low health. Who needs a new weapon when double damage? Well, how about a new weapon? Anyways. God awful Star Fury. 40% reduced damage. Yuck. So it does slashing with a secondary attack. Let's see here. S tier Chloroblast Bow. That might that might be it. 641 tax per second. Unreal Ghost Rifle. 50% increased attack speed. It still puts it at 27. Periodically calls down a nuclear bomb! Chad, the missile build! Ugh. Ten seconds nuke, twenty thousand to fifty-two thousand explosion damage. I think I—I I mean, I, the chloroblast, chloroblast blow, chloroblast bow, blowing dicks is obviously the right choice, right? Not only that, but we have S tier scaling on decks, which goes with our alacrity which is going to give me 35% increased attack speed on top of that because it's S ranked, S tier, right? 30%. It's got to be S plus for 35, whatever. But the memes. But the memes. It's also S, I know, but then, I mean, 35%, 30% plus, you know, times whatever. Higher number is going to yield more fire rate. Starcraft, Ghost Rifle, Nukes. I gotta do it. I gotta do it for memes. That's not that bad. It's, it's kind of bad. Compared to what we could have had. That would have shot so fast. Oh well. Anyways. Here's Wonderwall. Do I want more Curse? Why do we want Curse again? Do we even gain a, a, a benefit? Oh, it's two-handed, Chad! I, I lost my... Uh... 
my wisp lantern. <laughs> Nuke taking 10 seconds to prop. A proc is actually a long time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I negated it, so I feel like we should go for the build, but then we level up if I go dex. All right, well, the damage sucks. <laughs> that is a really long time. That is a really long time. I'm the tally of five melee attacks. I'm the sniper. After not attacking for one second, gain focused might. No, reduce global tally threshold requirement by one. Further per maximum point of block. Well, I don't have any Sorry block. to hear about your furnace issues. That repairman is truly the lowest among scumbags. Some old guy. Thanks for the 30 months. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That lowers nuke time, I think. Yes? Reduces global tally requirements. I think tally requirements is different than time. This would be good for the missiles that we're shooting, but from 10 to 9... Uh, mm, I don't know if it's that good. We had that one weapon that was like every two shots do this thing. That would be really strong. It would double the effect. Yeah, I don't have any block either. I think this really, you know, it's strength focused for a reason. You're supposed to have block with it. Rifle sucks. Unfortunately, they nerfed it last patch. Ancestral aid grant two ancestral spirit companions ancestral spirits blah 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 grants 10% increased melee attack speed explosion damage from you and your companions inflicts instability yeah I'm just gonna do it because it's a bomb I gotta I just gotta go full in on the, on the meme at this point in time 100% there's no going back Alrighty. Plus dex my strength. Hell. It definitely is the StarCraft sniper rifle. Gotta go with the souls. These are the toughest guys to fight, because if you don't kill them quick enough, they go freaking nuts on you. And now I'm poisoned. Are they going to die? Horrible build. Horrible build. From the start. This is bad. Upgrade weapon, repair armor. Oh, I got a lot of money. I can't stop now, chat. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. Da -na 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 -na. Da -da 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 Gonna blow, 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 explode. Noxamilia, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate that. Welcome. Reward choices are all companion summons. No, we, we're happy with our companions. Charm? I'm pretty happy with my charms too. We have 20% increased magic find, 10% increased attack speed, 20% increased melee damage. We're not good with that one. All right. Yo ho, what brings you down to this deep, this deep into the dark madness? Crazy? I was crazy once. Nuke's gonna be really good for bosses. Surrender! <laughs> I just nuked you! You're saying you were surrendering. You better show up before this nuke lands. On his face! Oh, that barely did any damage. That one did it. Okay, I think the first one might have missed. 
First one had to have missed, right? That bro has nuke resistance. 50% faster tick rate of periodical effects. Periodically call down a nuclear bomb? Periodically launch a missile? Every five second nuke. Oh my god. I'm so happy. I regret nothing about this build. It is the best build from the start. I'm telling you, you just had to believe. 20% crit hit chance weapon at upgrade level four higher. Lame. Get out of here. Percent modifiers to attack speed also apply periodical rate. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Your percent modifiers to attack speed also apply to periodical rate. At the same value, we'd have 76% faster nukes. Right? That's every two and a half seconds. I would lose rockets, but I would gain nukes. Chat, think about it. And our attack speed will only increase. It's a nuke build. Holy crap. If I could have both of these things, think about think about the power. Oh. No bomb vests. You guys, the bomb vest fucking blows. I'm here for the nukes. I, I'm reading that right, right? Total attack speed modifiers plus 76% and times zero. Your percent modifiers to attack speed also apply to periodical rate. So, plus 76%. I'm just waiting for it to be like a leprechaun and be like, no, it's 176%, so it's 20 seconds per nuke. It takes almost half the time its rate. Four times faster. That means one second goes and tallies 1.76%. So, it's counting one second as 1.76 1 seconds, right? So it will be every three seconds that it nukes, correct? Who knows this stuff? Because Crystalis, you said it's almost half the time. Which means no. It'll be about every six seconds. It'll be more like six seconds. Okay, so then ha this is better. Right? This is five seconds, this is six seconds. I don't understand the math on that one, but you seem like you're confident. I don't know this math, but I do like big booms. That's 6.66 6 seconds per nuke. Charm is better now, but if you get attack speed, the robe will be better. Wouldn't 50% faster make it 7.5 seconds, it goes off? 50% faster. Is that so it says? 50% faster tick rate. So it's ticking at 150. Not 50% of the, the time. So this is still better! Wait a minute! If it takes 10 seconds, and you're making it 50% faster, that means every one second counts for 1.5 second, right? So one second counts as two. No, I think it, that, that would probably mean that one second counts for 1.5 seconds. Right? Which means that it would really only be 6.66 seconds. Whereas the other one gives us at every 5.68 seconds. Yeah, no, I think, I think if, if, hmm. This is, this is inherently the issue, obviously, of this update. How complicated and convoluted it is. It could just be written to say, you know. I, you'd have to have an example in there, though. It'd be like, every 10 seconds would really be 5 seconds, or 6.66 seconds. You'd have to normalize it. You'd have to say what one second is. Too much confusion. Take the middle one. 
Fuck it. Probe. Either way, it's gonna be good for our nukes, and that's all that, that we need, right? Plus, I got my sexy robe. And, much lighter. On my back, so we won't have stats taken away. Look at that item now, it'll show your time. So when does the train from Chicago arrive? Uh, it doesn't seem to show time? It, it does. 5.68 seconds, okay. Sounds like... Chat, you, you did the right thing. We don't have mana. That I'm not getting rid of my, my nuke gun now. I think it's time for nuke. Uh, plus one soul heart. Wonderful. This spells stack of curse. I don't really need to use that. Here's poison. We were poisoned. Son of a gun. Oh, I can heal my... I've got a little health flask. I, I forget about that. Oh, you did not. Grants plus one armor. That well, sounds kind of nice. In this economy? The rock with the armor in it, though, totally intact. Don't need gold. I need, like, a companion that just distracts them. I need something to take an aggro. That would be perfect. A lot of golden dice, holy moly. Resin. I, I'm still holding out for the resin thing. It's a random resin, though. We might get a duplicate. I could just go buy stuff in the shop, but sometimes the shops are kind of crappy, and sometimes they're soul shops. Which doesn't really... I mean, we can't use our Wisp Lantern anyways, so... I don't know. Yikes. 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 Fucking yikes, dude! Hey, we got a new one. Alright, we need that thing now. Santa. Does that have a modifier? Unreal. 50% increased attack speed. That's like the um, like the best that we can get for us. 20 gold for a gift box. Let's crack her open. Loot box. Stamina surge. Yeah. Alright. A cursed obsidian chest. Dex. This skull is haunting me. Did they survive a nuke? Or did the nuke not go off? That was weird. I think they're surviving the nuke? They're nuke-proof. Excess, excess damage doesn't go through armor. Star Lantern, your mana star buff effects additionally grant 25% increased primary attack damage with mana draining weapon. Sweet. I... <laughs> hey, does death have armor? This might sound like a dumb question. I could refill my flasks. I don't really need to. <sighs> One charm, I guess. Some armor, yeah. Death indeed has armor. I can't believe we haven't even gotten our sixth trait. <laughs> Oh, 
Thanks for the 500 bit space gators. Yoda, I just wanted to see the gift, Lamau. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Tried so hard. Got so far. Alright, armor's gone. It's nuke time, baby. These nukes are gonna morph all over them. Enough! Nuke, stop! Please! My little fetishes are just up in there. What the frick? I'm, I'm gonna die here just from these, uh... The lasers. That's that's crack, dude. The lasers that shoot out at you, uh, that's, that's quick. But we won. I guess... What was that? Abyss Cloak. Plus three to curse. Grants corruption aura that inflicts corruption and debuffs enemies to take dark damage from you and your companions. Well, I, you know, I'm not going to give up my evocation robe. 10% increased melee damage per suppression that you have. That does not do anything for me. And plus one heart. I'm going to get rid of melee damage and take a heart. Melee damage with my nuke, Sniper. I probably could have waited on that. I might find a thing that re uh, heals my hearts, but doesn't refill my containers. And we're evil. We're going to hell. <laughs> what, how evil are we? Pure evil, minus seven. You've never seen evil like this. I'm gonna die before we get there, let's be honest. I'm, I'm super dead. I'm gonna have to spend my souls. Fully recover. Or buy an extra heart piece. <coughs> I don't know, because I have the ability to get another flask right here. It's a lot of evil. Was the fight hard? The one that I just did? Wayward Wombat, $20 super chat. So glad to finally catch some form of stream. Thanks for years of content. Thank you so much, Wayward Wombat. I really appreciate that. That's super generous of you to do that. Container sounds better. You gain more hits from recovering, and you can do it again for the boss. Yeah. And I'll go here and fill the other one up. Plus one to my highest status. It's cool, but it's not necessary. Stupid armor, dudes. Oh, that guy got obliterated. Probably. Oh. Ooh. Chat, which one? You, you pick and I'm gonna go ahead and eat some pizza. Almost all of chat wants pure offense. Buzz off, you wizards. You demon.
I had no idea where he was. Finally. Oh, we didn't get it though. Gain increased stats from your companions based on how many companions you have. 100% increase at 3, 200% at 2, and 300% at 1 companion. Plus 300% stats if I lower it to 1 companion. Why would it go up when I, my companions go down? That sounds horrible. After standing still, I hate that. Make swords, no. Three, wouldn't three make 600%? Well, it's saying gain increased stats, 100% increase at three. 200% increase at two companions. 300% increase at one companion. So at four, 100% per three. That doesn't make any sense because then it would be 300% per one, right? Which wouldn't equal, so two would be 600. Not, it's not per, it's at. Can you take away? I can, I can unsummon them. I could click it and then I could just summon one. But that would take away from my attack speed. You have to be frugal, basically. for the best estimate friend it's not explaining one benefit it's a di different benefit for a number of companions how could how could these things just be so confusing we don't even know if it gives something for four companions it increases your stats so it should combo with the periodical reduction increased stats to uh you know is that saying I get literally, if, if I go down to one companion, I'll have 300% decks. So if I have 20 decks, I now have 60 decks. You have four plus companions, it does nothing, but can't you unsummon? I could just put them away and summon one. Right? You just click the button again and they all go away. It's effects offered by the companions. Increase stats from your companions. Okay, so I would take away the companions and get, and then get 300% when I could just get 400% for having four. Okay, never mind. It's bad. If, if, if that's what that means, it is bad. Unlucky hit, increment all your active tally counters by one. We don't have tally, we have periodical, and we hit- No, we do have tally. Missiles are tally. But, kind of low fire rate with the sniper, so I don't think we're gonna get that many lucky hits. But we do have the plus lucky hit perk. On dash, mark nearest enemy with ascetic mark. Guarantees crushing hit. Crushing hit, guaranteed to roll top end damage. Grants ascetic reward when triggered. Uh, plus 50% to minimum damage roll in the last 8 seconds. That's just, yeah, there's a lot going on there. So, 4, no effect. 3, like, plus 1. 2 is plus 2. Poopa Stinka. This one could be good. I mean, you have 23% chance lucky hit, but... We only have one tally, I think. <laughs> Yes. Well, let's read the rest. Unlucky hit, gain cheap shot, increase in secondary attack damage. I don't think we have secondary attack in our... S well, is the nuke a secondary? <laughs> on completion... On completing a combat encounter room without taking damage, gain a stack of raised morale. 10% increased damage dealt by you and your companions per stack. That's pretty good. But I don't have any evades and blocks, so I'm gonna go Transcendence. You have Obsidian Die, in case you only get garbage traits. Now I'm gonna just rip all these. So we have permanent infusion damage, which is nice. Um, I do have some Obsidian Dice, so if we want to get rid of Lucky Shot right now, we could do that. But it, it'll randomly replace it, which is kind of crap. 
Crit chance? When it's secondary, it has written on secondary. Yeah, I just didn't pull it out. Probably crit chance, maybe. Or one dex on my 23. Ambrosia. Stats. I mean, isn't crit hit chance technically a stat? Alright, that's what you want. Damage with non-crits. I could drink up a bunch of booze right now, though. I'm not really worried about this upcoming boss as much as I'm worried about the next upcoming boss. I've at least seen this one before. Ah, I got hit there. I didn't see it. I've never even seen the next one. chest that contains a weapon? Nah. You gotta be kidding me. You saying nukes aren't good enough? IF with this art style. Never seen this before. It looks cool. Yeah, this is, uh, tiny. Tiny rogues. One key. Can there even be a secret room? In hell? Here we go. We fully. Re oh, I don't have any souls anymore, so I can't fully really recover. Body armor? Nope. Magic weapon? Nope. Charm? Look at the legendary. Legendary missiles. At this point, changing weapon is not as advised. Yeah, we've, we've sunk it all. Aw. What brings a mortal to the depths of the underworld? I ponder whether you stand before me out of bravery or sheer folly. Let's go head by head. I am Tiamat, the Infernal Queen, overseer of the Burning Hills and tormentor of the damned. For ages I've awaited for a signal to reduce the mortal realm to ashes. Your demise shall herald the rise of the Burning Hells. The Rise of the Infernal Queen. The Rise of Tiamat. Horrible name. Fake Tiamat, you have six heads. You gotta strip that armor. You gotta get that armor off. And onto my floor. Rivers of Flame shell, something, something. <laughs> In the cutscene. Do you perceive yourself as the hero? <laughs> know this, you are nobody. You are lost and out of place in this realm. You're an arrogant whelp that must be humbled. I really wish you would have played on the meme of the one stupid head that's just like, Darpa Dar, I need a hamburger. And then they're like, damn it, you ruined our thing. We practiced this. 
We're no hero. We're dropping nukes like candy. We are as evil as it comes. Countless souls like yours have met their end by my fangs and blah, blah, blah. Try these nukes. There is no escape. Oh. oh, wow, wow. Okay, there's more. There's more to it. I don't like how you hide out and, and avoid my nukes. I kind of feel like that's cheating a little bit. Here we go, yeah. Stay with me on the ground floor here for just a... What the fuck? Well, I got shot. I have 10 health, though. Good. Or 10 souls to recover. Aegis, legendary, offhand, plus block, plus armor. Self repairs armor on completing an encounter room. Oh my god, that's good. But I have a two-handed weapon. Another offhand. On cursed critical hit, gain atonement is a buff that grants 100% increased attack speed. Oh my god! Damn it! Plus equipment load. Plus three armor. Twenty percent increased damage, so I could get rid of double damage for three armor. I mean, if I'm in the middle of a battle, I'm about to die. Oh, I have, it's attunement though. I have to be able to attune it. One room, two. Ah, shit. Reroll. Hold the offhand in your teeth. <sighs> Bomber, man. I'm. We not. We might not find anything. There might not be anything left. Uh, fits what we got going on. I don't even have a helmet. When you or your companions deal melee. No. Green? You're gonna give me a green this late? Movement speed shoes. Your little guy deals melee, right? Probably, but... Your fetish is nibble. Your ruthless hits are crushing hits, and vice versa. I don't think that applies to me. Really? Uncommon? I just beat a holy six-headed dragon from a hell, and you're gonna give me an uncommon ring. 10% increase attack speed, that's pretty good, but... Um... Double freaking damage, you idiot. Moran. Full stacks of speed boost every second. 10% increased movement speed per stack. Didn't we get something like movement speed also applies to... No? Am I making that up? I'm, I'm probably making that up. Flame shield. Offhand. Don't care. 10% critical hit chance. Uh, I could get rid of... Magic find. And go for a 10% credit chance. Because let's be honest, I don't, I don't think we're going to find anything that's like a... I just kind of want a helmet, you know? I kind of want a helmet. Then this game used to be more straightforward. Yeah, it used to be really straightforward. And now it's really opposite of that. I think what it was, honestly... And I... I think it's, I, it's great what Ruby did. It's great what Ruby did. But I think Ruby, Ruby got a little too excited and, and dove a little bit too deep and threw it all at us at once instead of piecemeal and then manipulating things as they come and as people get them and as the, you know, there's just so much that we have to go through. Go, go big or go home on the rolls.
90% of gamblers stop right before the jackpot. Is that a helmet? Offhand! Fire orbital that deals blah, blah, blah. Cold orbital, lightning orbital. That sounds super cool. Traffic cone. Plus one evade. Uh, honestly, uh, I'm gonna, I'm just taking it. Yeah, we look really good. I came for a hat. This is what I got. This is all I got. It's like those t-shirts that like, I went to Disneyland and all I got was this stupid t-shirt. Freaking traffic calling on my head. I asked for this. Only a being of pure evil. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. I'm gonna nuke you. He's like, he's pretty freaking evil. Holy crap. Never been beyond this door. There it goes. Oh god. I did it! We're the Nihihi. <laughs> I feel like it would be kind of cool if you had to be evil to go past up into heaven. Because you're like killing super god. You know what I mean? That seems like a pretty evil thing to do. But why would they let you in? I don't know. Um... I don't know any of the, the attacks here. I don't know what's going on. No idea. So, let's, let's go. Strip their armor, strip their armor quick. I already used my evade. Holy smokes, dude, what happened? That dude got mad, and then he was like, post-death coming after me. Ah, uh, fuck, dude! This is insane! We're dead, dude. We're screwed. That nuke scared me. Increased damage with non-crits. What's my crit chance? Pretty low, right? Where's offense? 9.5% chance, so this sounds good. I walked into the fucking fire. Circling the drain chat. And there is one more resin, but it might be poison, so I think that maybe we can't get it. It's a soul shop, and I can't afford anything. That sucks. Plus one luck. All right, well. I've never seen poison resin. You have to start with it. It's one of the options to have when you start the game. I was just standing in that fire. Oh, every time. <laughs> I'm pretty good on, a, on my load, right? How do I check my load quick? Yeah, 70 out of 100, we're good. But resin is nothing. Alright. Poison resin was actually in the game now, I swear I've seen it at the special resin merchant. Maybe, I, I don't know. Oh, I don't like this. Well, we made it. 
I don't have the ability to heal myself, though. Gosh, that'd be phenomenal if that was free before a boss. All right, only three hits. That can be taken uh, by the boss. Yeah. Overcome the final obstacle before ascending to the throne. Oh, it's an obby. It's going to be a Roblox obby. Let's go. At least we made it to the boss, and maybe we'll have time to learn something about the attack patterns before I get smeared. Let's go. You do have one revive. I could get rid of like trans or er, transfusion. Infusion buffs are permanent. I can get rid of that now and still keep my infusions, I think, right? Is that or did they take away that hack? I remember before, like right before you go to the final boss, you rip it. It's probably worth it. They are already permanent. Yeah, but if I get rid of the transcendence, which makes them permanent, they would not be permanent. Right. It might take them away. It might put them back at 10 rooms. I don't know. It used to be a hack that worked. Back at 10, if I recall correctly. Goodbye. Hello, Swagger. We still have them. Minus four room. I don't know what that means. Sure. Just pretend everything's fine. On the tally of the five primary attacks, your next primary attack deals a guaranteed crit hit and triggers your on-dash effect. Okay. Range attacks deal 100% crushing chance at close range. I'm just probably not. I'm just not going to get close. Let's be honest. If we're being honest with ourselves. I should have gotten rid of that one a long time ago. Conductor. Lightning conductor. On non-triggered lucky hit, trigger a chain lightning that deals 68 to 3,750 damage. It could be good if there's adds. Alright, let's go. Let's do it. Don't get too close in this one unless you're confident in your dodges. Little hatchling, I see you finally arrived. How do we... What's... What am I looking for here? I want some of this. I want a little bit of that. I'll do a little bit of this. I am impressed you carve a path of utter devastation. It appears even the mighty Tiamat couldn't escape your wrath. You truly are an unstoppable force of evil, even dethroning death. Wahahaha, <laughs> your bloodlust it invigorates me. Is it over? No. I've sensed the growing darkness within you. I don't- I just don't want to click the button and then have to like reach over for my microphone and have to turn it off while I'm trying to dodge. Eagerly awaiting this very moment, at last, a worthy contender, a worthy chicken tender for the infernal throne. Bang, bang, uh-oh. Good thing get those iframes. Nukes, go! Ow, 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 This pro is sending chicken nuggets at me. The nukes are like, I can't see him. I'm like, just keep nuking, just go. Become one with evil. He's got a hundred percent fist shot. Ah! You. Proven a formidable foe, but don't presume you've bested me yet. Chicken nukies. For eons. I've been ruling this with the burning... They've ruined the burning hells of the Iron Fist. Countless souls have fallen before me in their struggles. Forgotten. Let me tell you, defeating you will be a pleasure unlike any other. 
Prepare yourself for your imminent doom, for I shall unleash my full might. I am green now. I was gonna say, are they gonna move? Ah, dicks. Oh, dicks. One heart left. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Oh no, you've been affected with the binding chains. Status effect that makes you unable to dash. And Oh my God, that's horrible. What's this? Oh, I gotta get out, I gotta get out, I gotta get out. I gotta, ah! I didn't have enough time, I didn't know this was gonna happen. He's dead, we nuked him, he's okay. It's fine, we nuked him. That's a key. One of the three keys required to open the sealed gate to the abyss. Bruh. Good thing I had that revive. The nuke saved the day. I'm over here flopping around on the ground just getting absolutely raked on. And he's like just getting hit in the back of the head with nuke after nuke. What do you want? You guys work for me now. I hope you know that. Not you, you're fired. I shall sit on the throne now. You have accomplished the impossible. Ascend the infernal throne. I'm so evil, dude. You've become the embodiment of evil. It's all due to my nuke-wielding sniper rifle, if only they knew. That I'm just a dude. I'm just a regular guy. All hail the conqueror. Kiki Ki. New infernal overlord. We swear to answer to you. May they herald in a new age of evil. Immortal no longer. Before this, my name was Joe. Now ruling the burning hells. But even the glory of becoming a god eventually fades the into eternity. Cone now becomes a symbol of pure evil. <laughs> the traffic cone. No, it's banned on Twitch chat. Please don't traffic cone. We please don't say the TC word here. Not even implied TCs. Have to go. Bye bye. See you, Noah. Well, we did it. That's our first win. Our first super win, at least. They should mark it on there. Your super win? Traffic cars? Well, thanks for watching, VOD watchers. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.